there can never be functional overlap. Okay. In the sense that, you know, people have argued, whether rightly or wrongly, that there is no coherence in some of the activities going on. Now, there are so many agencies dealing with anti-corruption. There can be corruption at the border. The custom is there. There can be corruption through uh, drug smuggling. NDLA is there. There can be economic crimes. There can be corruption through public service. ICPC is there. All these organizations have power to prosecute offenses related to the activities. And when they are prosecuting those offenses, they have power to go to court to freeze and attach assets, pending investigation, pending litigation. But because they are statutory organizations with, I, I mean, set up by laws of the National Assembly, so they are operating on, I mean, independently, because that is the nature. Okay. Because when an organization is set up, it has an act establishing it, so it's not taking instructions from anybody. Okay. Now, the president is the head of the executive, comprising all of them. So he has now given a policy direction as to how anti-corruption related cases, investigation, litigation should be handled. So there can never be overlap okay. because all enforcement authorities are supposed to be reporting to the office of the attorney general. The coordination of this order is through the office of the attorney general who has set up a unit to see to the implementation of this. I mean, so many things have been developed as to how this policy will be implemented, how performance will be measured, how it will be evaluated from time to time.